Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Sanjay Prakash and I am a Microsoft Stratify trainer since 10 years and I am in Dynamics 365 and Power Platform space since that day. Now in this video, I will tell you another important topic called as, Power, called as AI Builder in Power Platform. AI Builder is a Microsoft Power Platform capabilities that provides artificial intelligence models that are designed to optimize our business process. Using AI Builder, this enables your business to use artificial intelligence to automate processes to gain insights from our data. We can use that AI Builder in Power Apps or Power Automate, right? You can see this screen. If you go to Power Apps, in the left side, you can see the AI Builder option is existing, right? So using this AI Builder, you can train your model, you can build your model, uh, build your AI uh, model then you can use it in your different apps now AI builder is a turnkey solution that brings the power of artificial intelligence through a point and click experience you do not need to write anything any sort of code here so you do not need coding or data science skills to access the power of artificial intelligence with this AI builder you can build custom models that is tailored to your need right so you can also choose pre-built models that is ready to use for many common business scenarios like business card readers, category classifications, entity extraction. So there are many, you know, pre-built uh, models that are already available, available that you can use in your Power Apps. Sentiment analysis, text recognition from, a, from an image, right? So you can use it pre-built uh, models. Otherwise, you can uh, create your own model by using this five options category classification entity extraction form processing object detection and predictions now today in this episode we will just discuss about form processing by which we can uh, we can upload a number of invoices and we can extract data from these invoices and we, we can put all the data in our cds platform or microsoft dataverse because in a day you might receive many invoices uh, uh starting from one to two or many invoices uh, may, may, maybe 100 invoices you are getting a day right in a day now you have no time to uh, open every invoice and uh, extract data right you want to automate something which will pull all data that are part of your invoice and insert in some table in a formatted way right you want to have a table in your microsoft data first and you want to store date invoice date invoice number and uh, invoice from invoice to and uh, the total amount like that so you want to store so how you can train your model using this form processing we will see that okay so let us get started so now to do this you have to go to power apps we have to go to build option here we will see multiple options now i want to use form processing right let me give a name process my invoice process invoices and here the prerequisite is you have to have a five plus documents with same layout because we are we are giving training to a, a model a, a artificial intelligence model means you should give some inputs uh, to the model right so minimum requirement is five plus documents with same layout so i have five layouts here this is one layout invoice layout and there is another layout here this is another layout so like that i have five uh, layouts with same invoice right now I want to read all of these invoice formats and I will give uh, the uh, input document as uh, as for this invoicing invoice processing so click on create as soon as you click create it will ask you to provide the it will ask you to define what data you want to extract from your invoice okay let me add the first is bill from okay so i want to capture the bill from field from the invoice next i want to extract bill to okay then i want to extract total amount okay so these three informations i want to extract right and as I want to extract this three, you can also check if you want to add more information. Let's say invoice to date. I can also extract date here. 
invoice date so as much data as you uh, want you can keep adding here and I also want uh, the sales task for example okay so this five information I want to extract and uh, put it in some data verse table so I have defined this I can go to next right if you have already a table with you you can also choose that table otherwise you can choose different fields now here it is asking to upload documents click on new collection and here click on this option add documents and as I have my uh, invoice formats with me so I can use upload from local storage otherwise if you have uploaded all your uh, documents in any SharePoint or Azure blob storage you can use that but I want to use upload from local storage so these five formats I want to upload so that the model will recognize the selections right so I can click on upload once I will upload all the invoice formats will be uploaded in a short while click close now you can see this collection is having five documents right now I can click on analyze this step will give you an option to choose which section will be defined for which field from the invoice right because we are giving a training to this AI uh, uh, model uh, so that in the next time when it is uh, it will process the invoice document of that kind of format then it will pull that sections information and put it in your field okay so it will take some time it will take few minutes we have to wait now all the invoices are uploaded uploaded here right these are these are five invoices but we have not linked all these i field items to the invoice now our duty is to link the invoice sections or fields with our uh, fields here these five fields i six fields i have taken five fields i have taken and i have to associate these sections of this invoice to this uh, field so I build from means this is the build from so I can click on this and drag up to the section for which it represents build from so once it is selected you can choose build from so it is assigned it is connected to this section now build to I can select here I don't want invoice to I, I, I want just the uh, information so I can associate to build to right so I don't need this invoice to option I just want the value for total amount I can go down here and choose this one so this is for total amount so it is automatically mapping when you select for invoice date I can go here and select invoice date so I can drag if it is not correctly selected you can drag it invoice date and next is sales task sales task I can associate this one this is for sales task okay now once it is selected for first document you have to again go to second invoice and we have to do the same thing for this uh, format for bill for from this is the bill from so I can select and this is bill form if it is automatically connected you can leave it but if those fields are not connected you have to connect so select the build to right all options are connected now we have to repeat this thing for all invoice formats build to is not tagged go to here and associate build to now number four item build to is not associated you associate the build to okay and number five layout build to is not associated you can associate this now when your format is a little bit disorder or it's not exact format in slight different layout 
then you have to do this for at least five samples and once it is done you can click on next now you can click on train because now we have provided all necessary data now we will click on train the model now what it will do it will now give training to this model to properly identify a, a layout of this kind of invoice right now let me close this okay in the meantime it is training i will open a sample uh, invoice let this is my sample invoice copy and paste here okay so i want to check this pdf against that ai builder okay so now the train is uh, the uh, model is training now go to model now the uh, status is still training right now the uh, it will it will keep training until some minutes and we have to wait for that once it is trained then we can use this uh, model in our power apps canvas apps or power automate right now it is training and in the meantime i can go here and create a table for now okay i can go here and i can create a table to store the invoice information new table let me choose let me give a name invoice ai okay and in the name field i will uh, give build to and i will click create and i will add more columns let's say bill from done i will add more columns let's say total amount and this would be currency and one more column sales task this will be also currency i'm just i just want to store the information from that invoice so i am keep i am adding this let's say invoice date so this will be uh, let's say text and done save the table right now let us check if it is trained yes the bot is trained uh, sorry the model is trained now i can use this model in my canvas apps okay for example i will go to the canvas app and let me quick test you can click on quick test upload the invoice sample invoice from your machine so this is my sample invoice once it will upload it will extract the information from that invoice and display the data so it, it is actually you can take any image file or pdf file to extract data you can see it is extracting this is uh, invoice date this is invoice to this is invoice from and this is sales tax and this is total right now you can close it and publish it until unless you publish your model you cannot use it in your power apps or uh, in power automate so you have to publish this first then you can create your own canvas app to use this right now you can go here and create a new app i want to create a new canvas app from blank let's say i'm giving a name here uh, form process and this time i will use phone layout click ok now the phone canvas app will open for me and i want to use this model in that the name of this model is process invoices right so i can go here in the invoice in the canvas apps and i can insert i can insert at the top here you can see ai builder right and you can choose form processor option here once you choose from form processor you can see the name process invoices item will be displayed here because that is the 
uh, model that we have created just now now if it is asking this click got it now see this form processor uh, model is added here you can choose this process invoices because this is the model we have created now you can run it and click on analyze to test now we have included this in our canvas apps right this ai model now it will automatically identify the sections of the invoice and extract data right now the data is extracted right now if you want to push it to uh, uh, to cds environment microsoft dataverse environment as we have created this uh, table right invoice table how you can do that you can create a you can create a uh, button here as i have already told you in my last video you can push data from canvas app to power automate and let me change this button to uh, record data right and in the record data i want to call a power automate right so i can go here in the action and click on power automate now i can choose create new flow right now it will open in a new window now click on power up button because you want to call power automate from canvas app means the trigger will be power apps now change the name push invoice in series for example and here click a new step i want to create new record right so create new record in data horse just search data horse and choose add a new row choose the table my table is invoice ai so this is my table and i want to add the columns that will be retrieved from canvas apps so build to means ask in power apps this will generate a parameter in the background for build from also ask to power app next i want to add for uh, invoice date again ask to power apps next sales tax ask in power apps right and total amount ask to power apps right now save it now i can go here and pass all the informations from now it is saved it is ready to use now i can go to this and i can call again the power automate and click the push invoice in cds power automate and i will pass all the uh, data that will be identified in the invoice to the power automate right now you can see uh, the push invoice in cds dot ron is uh, displaying in the on select formula now i can pass the parameter now i want to pass the bill to parameter then i have to use the form process this is the id of the form processor uh, ai model dot fields dot so first parameter is bill to so i will use bill to next parameter bill from so form processor then dot field so using this fields property we can extract the fields from form processor this is bill from next form processor dot fields dot invoice date right then the last parameter sales task so form processor dot fields dot sales task and the last parameter is total amount so form processor dot fields dot total task total amount right and close the bracket so this is my parameters i have passed to the power automate right
and I want to capture the result from the um, so once it is done let me check it let me run it let me go to power apps to check the uh, invoice AI data here so till now there is no data in this table invoice AI has no uh, data now let me run this so I have uploaded the sample PDF and it will try to extract the date and uh, bill from bill to and total amount with sales tax with invoice date once it is extracted I will click on record data once I will click record data it will call this flow and it will create this row in Microsoft Dataverse let us see now I will refresh this table now you can see this data is recorded right if you change this add all columns you can see bill from invoice uh, bill from and uh, you can see here invoice date and you can see other information total sales tax and total amount right so this is the amount here you can see the amount is So the amount for this is you can open here the total amount is 81.41 so you can check here 81.41 so this is how we can read any PDF invoice or JPG invoice uh, invoice in canvas apps and we can read data from from that document and push it in our Microsoft Dataverse table and we can process it accordingly according to our business uh, logic right so now you understand how easily we can train our model uh, train our model uh, using form processing now you can uh, train your model using complex invoice layouts and use it in your power automate or canvas apps right so thank you guys for your time I hope you have subscribed to this channel if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel so that you can get uh, recent videos also click the notification icon so that whenever i will upload any video you will get a inbox email so that you can watch it because i am preparing videos technical videos related to dynamics 365 and power platform and in case you are interested to join the uh, membership program you can click the join link in my channel so that you can watch membership only videos or you can contact me directly in whatsapp or uh, meetings uh, for one-to-one -one discussions for your issues thank you cheers and see you in next time